to communicate changes in research. McKenna Wagner, a contestant in the competition whose thesis was about social media's response to COVID-19, says it was difficult to make sure she stated all the key parts of her thesis in the three minutes provided. Lots and lots of practice. I've been a teacher, a TA for the last two years, so a lot of practice presenting in front of my class every day. The participants went through a preliminary round where 25 students submitted videos about their research projects. Each of the six finalists received $250. Patients with hypertension display high levels of MicroR21. Another contestant, Yue Shen, who did her thesis on how a drug can affect blood pressure in rats, says that she lost some of the importance in her thesis because it had to be conversational and more like everyday talk. Shen also described it as a new experience for her and that she learned a lot about herself. Personally, I'm kind of like an outgoing person, but I never dare to like step out. But then this really gave me a chance to really find myself. Even though Wagner and Shen didn't win, they say that they are proud to have made it to the final round to showcase the work that they have done. Incredibly proud to represent Concordia and NDSU today and um, all this research that I've spent the last year working on. I'm very proud to, to be here and participate. The winner, Kishore Chidamale, who presented research on reconstructing the gut for healthy aging, took home a prize of $1,000. With photographer Brady Wako, Katie Bartnick, okay, Campus fun. News.